Good day folks, so today we're going to do a return to home test of the new DJI Mini 2. Now the Mini 2 doesn't have precision landing per se, such as the Mavic 2 Pro, but it is important to see how well it behaves. You want it to come back to the general location within a few feet anyways. The Mavic Air 2, if you watched my return to home test of it back in the spring, it was dead accurate. It always landed within a few inches from where it took off. Now when I did a return to home test of the original Mavic Mini, back last October, I think it was November, it wasn't very accurate. Uh, sometimes it came back within five feet, uh, sometimes it was off even more by about 20 feet, but it still came home to the general location, so you just have to keep an eye on things. Now it's also good practice to set your return to home height. You wanna make sure the return to home height is set higher than the tallest obstacle around you. And you set your return to home height by going into the settings, make sure you're under safety there at the top, and at the top there you can see it says uh, auto return to home and it has it at 100 meters by default. So you can set that down a little lower if you don't want it to go that high. Also it's a good idea to check on the map. You can see you can bring the map up there and uh, make sure your home point is set to where you're flying or where you're taking off from I should say. So let's go ahead here and we'll run our first test. So we got the motor started. Let's go ahead and we'll put it up. And actually, I'm going to put my return to home a little lower because I don't need it to go that high. 52, that's good for now. I'm kind of up on a hill here, so there's not really that much uh, around me that it will run into. So let's just put it out a bit. We don't have to go too terribly far. So we're 124 meters away. And uh, we're going to do a return to home now. There's two ways you can initiate a return to home. We can use the button here on the controller. We can just press that. Or we can use the screen up here at the top. You can see it has a return to home icon. So I'm just going to press the one on the controller. And you can see there it's now initiated return to home. Now you'll notice it has a pause button. And anytime if you need to take control or stop what it's doing, if you want to pause the return to home, you can press that pause button. And I should mention too, if you need to, you can use the sticks to control the drone if you have to make an evasive maneuver. So I'm going to turn the camera down just so we can see what it's doing. And you can see there, it's pretty well right above us. You can see it up there coming down, that little speck up there. And... Uh, yeah, it's a little off the mark. You can see that crosshair in the middle, but pretty close. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, so not too bad. It came back within uh, probably two feet. Now I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want to land in the grass. So we'll just hit the pause button there. So for good measure, we're gonna do it one more time just to see how it works. So let's uh, take it out again. So maybe go in a different direction. We'll head over this way. Don't want to get too close to that tower. So again, we're 140 meters out. So let's uh, initiate the return to home. Go home. There it goes. It's a good idea to keep a good eye on your screen just to make sure it's not going to hit anything. Don't just assume that it's going to come home safely. It's always a good idea to be cautious. Again, we'll put the camera down. So it's right above us now, and uh, it's starting to come down. You can see by the crosshair, it is uh, pretty well on mark. It's off a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, the Mavic Air 2 will land exactly on the landing pad, exactly probably within two to three inches from where it took off. It's actually pretty incredible. So there it is up there, here it comes. That little tiny speck. So yeah, it's going to be off a little bit again, but uh, generally, I'm pretty happy with that. Cancel it again, just because, yeah, we don't want it to land in the grass. It's a little bit wet. So that's my return to home test for the DJI Mini 2. As you can see, it performs quite well. It came back within a few feet of where it took off from. Really, that's all you can ask for with a drone that doesn't have precision landing built into it. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.